In this regression coding tutorial, you're going to learn how to plot X and Y chart to see if there is a relationship. Use sklearn to build a regression model, one X feature and one Y feature only. So it's going to be super simple for you to execute. Also, you're going to predict X, then you're going to print the coefficients and intercept, then calculate root, then calculate root mean squared to check how well you performed. But before we dive in, Hey problem solvers, my name is Kunal Naik. I am the founder of Data Science Masterminds. I am on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can quickly grow in your career. So do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I release an awesome smart trick like this one. Also, if you like my work, please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. So that they can accelerate their journey. You can also contribute to my mission by hitting the super thanks button and helping me continue this journey so that others like you can learn and apply data science effectively to grow in their career. We're going to begin by importing libraries such as NumPy and Pandas and then Matplotlib as PLT, then sklearn linear model and then linear regression within that. Similarly from metrics we're going to import mean squared error this is how we will calculate the root mean square error after we have got the predictions. So we're going to run this one and it'll take a while to do it on Kaggle. Now, if you want this code, I've put a link in the description section. You can use that link and follow along with me. Now, once we have gotten that, let's see where the data is. I'm going to run this one. It's going to give me the link of where the data is present. So I'm going to just take in the train data and there is this test.csv. So I've imported both the train test data for now. And then we're just going to do some basic checks. So I'm going to do some checks on top five rows of train data and top five rows of test data. Now, all of that looks good. However, this does not yet tell us whether there are missing values or do we need to do any pre-process. So we're going to look at some descriptive statistics and then check if there are any missing values before we proceed. Next, we'll check what the descriptive statistics are. So I'm going to say train.describe and then test.describe and we'll get X and Y in this particular data and it looks good. We have the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and both of them pretty much follow a similar trend. Now you want to go deep dive into this, but this tutorial, I just want to focus on how you can use the sklearn machine learning library to build a regression model. Next, in this particular data, I know there are some missing values. So I'm just going to quickly treat that before we move on. So to check if there are missing values, I'm going to say train.isnull.sum. And if I do that, you'll see that within the Y data, there is one particular value null which is what we are going to remove. And similarly, let's see if there is any values null within test and there are none. So we're not going to do anything with that. So for the train data, we're going to remove this one. So we're going to say train dot drop any axis is equal to zero and in place is equal to true. This is what will drop that particular row, and we don't need to use that in the analysis. Once we have done that, that, that one row that is missing is dropped and now we can move ahead and now we can move ahead and plot the relationship and see if there is any linear relationship or not. So for that, we're going to use train dot plot scatter and I'm going to give X and Y variables. Now notice this is not the plot matplotlib library, but this is pandas plotting library and it happens to use it in this way where you can give the column names on what you want in the x-axis and y-axis and it'll plot the relationship. So if you run that, it'll plot this relationship and it is definitely linear. In fact, too good to be a linear problem statement. Next, we're going to build a model. For that, we need to initiate an instance of linear regression, the one that we imported from SQLR. And so to do that, I'm going to say LR model, this is going to be that instance of linear regression is equal to linear regression. Next, I'm going to say LR model dot fit and give x and then y. Notice for X, since we have one variable, we need to give it or reshape it such that it is going to accept that one particular feature. And so that is why we're going to give that double bracket. If you don't do it and just do it with the single bracket, it's just going to give you an error. And so you want to do this to ensure that the sklearn library is able to process this data. Typically it does well or works well with two X features. Since we have one, this is a workaround. So let's fit the model. So I'm going to fit that model. But before that, I need to initiate the instance and run that. So I'm going to run that and then run this one that fits the model. 
Now within it, we are going to get the coefficients and intercept. Coefficient is the m value here. And just we're going to say lr model dot coef. And this is going to give us the coefficient for the x variable. Now the square bracket zero is just to get the value or else we'll get an array of values which will get printed and we don't want that. So we get that. And similarly, um, because it is only one, we, we are just going to get only one of those values or else we will get multiple coefficients, right? So that's why it is an array. Now intercept is only one, that is C. That is why we are going to get one. So we don't require to access the zeroth element of it or the first element of it. So we take both of them and then we use the F string to print them. And this is how we are going to get our coefficient and intercept. Now, once we've got that next step is to predict. And so we're going to predict on the train data and I'm going to do this and click on predict. Now, how does this predict work? It takes LR model and uses dot predict function and we can pass the X data and we do the prediction. You'll see you get X predicted value and you get all of these predicted values. But similarly, I'm going to take this one again and try to get the X test predictions here. So I'm going to say test of this and we're going to call this as also test and I'm going to run this. So you'll see we got the test predictions also both the ones, both the predictions we got and we can now compare each of this and see how well we are performing in terms of the accuracies. Our last step is to check the accuracies. So I'm going to say print RMSE and then mean square error. We give the train data dot values, the X predicted values and squared is equal to true, which will give us the root mean square error. Now, if I run this, this is only going to give me the train train RMSE. So this is the train RMSE. Now to get the test RMSE and see whether we are performing well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to say test and give the test X values in this one here. And then we compare that with test predicted. Now if I run this, I get the train RMSE and the test RMSE. Both of them are close and hence we can say that it is a very good model. Also, we have seen the plot and that plot is actually very good data for us to build a linear model. So there you go, guys. This is how you build a linear regression using the linear linear regression method. Now that you know this, it's your time to go ahead and build another regression model. Not all problem statements are going to be as easy as this. However, I trust you can do it and get some better accuracies. Do mention in the comment section if you want any other tutorial that will help you effectively learn and apply data science to grow in your career.